Woods. Morning. It's lovely and sunny, which is very nice. And today is the new gazebo day. We are starting our outdoor kitchen build. And the first thing we're going to be doing is our new gazebo that's going to go here. I've been waiting for it to stop raining. It's not going to rain today, so we're going to get on with it. So we bought this gazebo a few years ago, actually. I've been trying to work out where it would have been. I think it would have been sort of uh, sort of there. I would now put an extension. And we carefully put it away in our container, but unfortunately the little furry's got to it and it's gone a little bit rusty. And we decided we needed the, the, the bigger size and to replace the canopy was more than the thing in the first place. So we bought another one. It is a ridiculously good price. And it is the second one I've bought. So we're gonna get it all out the box. I ordered it last Sunday and it arrived on Tuesday. Plot and plan where we're gonna put all of our kitchen that we're gonna put out here. Now we've obviously also got the barbecue. My husband's been ripping off the side so it fits in with the barbecue bit and like a flappy thing, which was difficult to get off, but we managed it. We have a big green egg as well. And we've also got a pizza oven as well. So we've got all the bits really. We're not gonna rewind sort of more kitcheny bits. It's just the build really. It's gonna go all around here. We designed this extension. So this door here goes into our laundry room, which also has a big area. So we thought if we had an outdoor kitchen here, and um, that door was open, we've got a sink, a big area to, to keep food in. There's a full size fridge and a full size freezer in there as well. So we're not gonna be putting those things out here either. That's all gonna be in there. We're also gonna be filling that in because we still haven't, that's a manhole cover. So this is the before shot, and I'm gonna show you how we build it, and I'll give you a close up, let you know what I think. So let's enjoy the sunshine and get on with it. But so don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I do lots of product reviews and DIY hacks on my channel, and I'll be doing a whole series for this outdoor kitchen. Uh, this gazebo was purchased by me. It's not a gift, so it'll be an honest review. So let's get the gazebo out and let's get so building. The gazebo comes in two sizes. The previous one I had was the three by two which currently today is 139 pounds and the one i've bought is the four by three across here it's about 4.3 meters and coming out it's going to sit about here which is perfect the height as well is way up above this door so it won't obscure that and we'll keep the canopy pulled back so it shouldn't be dark in here it shouldn't be anyway it's fairly open so they're the two options and that's the one we've gone for so it should be a good size for an outdoor kitchen
so here it is all built very pleased with it it's pretty good pretty sturdy it's a good height i have to say um because you can walk underneath it what we have discovered though um and we kind of bought this thinking it would work for an outdoor kitchen but actually we're actually going to put it around the side of our house above our seating area because my husband decided he wants a hard top over the outdoor kitchen so we are going to be picking it up and moving it around and putting it over our corner table that we have around the side let me show you which we haven't done the pressure wash yet is our other seating area and this gets huge amounts of sun in the afternoon so we're actually going to put it around here there's a huge amount of space actually it goes around the side of the house like that so it hasn't been pressure washed as you can see yet so we're going to put it around there so we're going to get a different one from here so watch out for the next video uh we've got narrowed it down to about three different sorts but we wanted to put this up first and then we were either going to use it for here or around the side, but it's going to go around the side. But this is the cream one. I will say, compared to the one I had last time, this is definitely a different colour. It's almost a beigey, light browny colour as opposed to an ivory. And I'm sure the last one was lighter. But it's a nice canopy. So if this is going to be a seating area or a dining area, you can easily walk underneath it. And there's plenty of space. So I'm underneath it. My son is six foot three and he can fit underneath it as well really easily so if you wanted this to sit under to eat or to just sit on a sofa it's easily high enough and to pull it back it's also really easy you just unclip this velcro bit it has got a magnetic closure here it kind of just it does grab it but a little bit of wind it will push it back so this goes all the way back and then you use this to first fasten it around the back i think that'll stop it taking off but there it is with it pushed back no side curtains but i'm assuming you could add some if you wanted to this doesn't come with one but it's nice and sunny at the moment i'll put it back and leave it like that so we had it last time if it's a light drizzly shower you can sit underneath it it's not weatherproof or rainproof because obviously the weather the, the rain can come in the sides but it does keep the shower off but it has got these to stop the water building up on the top so the water will come through that but they are set to the sides there isn't any in the middle so if you were under here and there was a light sort of drizzle you could sit here and look out so all in all it's not bad for the price can't complain at 199 pounds so i'll link in the description box where i bought this and it is available in the two sizes and it is available in a charcoal as well but it was out of stock in the charcoal when i ordered so i went for this light one i think i prefer the light one but depending on the decor um we have also on the ground started marking out where we're going to be putting the outdoor kitchen so do hit the subscribe button because I'm going to have a whole series on how we design it and the actual gazebo we eventually get for this. We did think about potentially taking this off and then adding battens across it and maybe putting some sort of perspex roof so it would be higher. But my husband's decided he would like one with quite a higher pitch so it makes it feel bigger. And the pizza oven is a consideration because it gets so hot. The heat of that is massive so actually this is going to be built outside of this because you can't unless i think you have it made of wood and then you have it made into the roof professionally i don't think that should go anywhere near underneath there so that's going to be sort of out here the big green egg can go under there but not everything else so there we go pretty easy to put together the only tricky bit let me just show you was this middle bit attaching all these bolts but actually it's fine. What I would suggest doing though is getting a an Allen key adapter for a drill would make it much easier. I've seen someone else that has bought one and that would mean that you could get all these bits in super quick not fiddle around with an Allen key because it's quite easy access so you could put a drill. So I'm definitely going to invest in one of them if I ever build anything again with an Allen key. So that is the gazebo. So I hope you found that helpful. I'll link everything below. Do hit the subscribe button. I've got loads of other product reviews and DIY hacks on my channel. This is part one of our outdoor outdoor kitchen. So thank you for watching and I shall see you on the next video.